Y'all asked for it. Y'all wanted it. And here it is. The fact that it is for edits part six. You know what it is. Yo, the support on all parts have been crazy. And I appreciate y'all for real. And we're so close to that 100k. So I just want to say thank you for everything in advance, you know. All right, so the first effect is tritone. But before I show you that, actually, I'm going to show you tint, which I used to use. And I still use for like a simple, fast black and white filter. And that's basically what it does. But what tritone does is it basically gives you three options instead of two. So it gives you the highlights, midtones, and the shadows. So now you have control over the highlights. And then you can also choose the midtones and then you get some cool options i'm just going with the blue and then you can also change the shadows now it kind of looks inverted but um i'm gonna just stick to black and you can pair this with s underscore glow to also give you that glowy dreamy look next effect is change to color so if we add this to our clip you basically just go from a color to a different color so first you click on this little eye drop thingy and then you click on whatever color you want let's say we want to change the color of this car so you just click on this car and that looks kind of mid but trust the process right here you can change the color to whatever you want let's go with like a greenish that looks a little bit better and then you can change this hue which is not actually like hue and saturation type of thing it just gives you more like green if that makes sense or more of your color that you chose so it was like this before you still see a little bit blue you know what i mean so when you increase it you get more green on your entire frame which just makes it fit a little bit more you know and then you get some other options here that you can play around with okay so for the next effect, don't mind the picture the next effect is not really effect it's more like a tool and that's the puppet tool i feel like some people forget this tool which is up here right here puppet tool what does it do well basically it makes things work like a puppet so once you click on this you can start putting these little points wherever you want so for example this would kind of work like a rig so basically you want to put like a couple on his head you would normally put one but i like to put a bunch um depends on what it is but right here i'm putting a bunch just so the head doesn't move whenever i move something else and i'll put some on the chest the stomach i'll put on the elbows i think that's the elbows is this your elbow or is this your elbow <laughs> and then on the hands and the legs and the crotch area and so now make sure to switch back to your selection tool so now you can move it so now you can move it by grabbing one of these and just hi <laughs> and basically uh yeah you can animate it by going down here to the mesh wait no press u twice you have all these keyframes already set for each point so you can go forward and then let's say you want to go bring this up bring this up and then keep that there and then bring this down so when you play it it does exactly what you did this puppet tool is useful for um a lot of things some artists have been using this to animate those album covers um y'all been seeing like moving and stuff like with a picture all right the next effect let me just show you is called fill so if we add this to our clip you're probably like what the hell is this what is that so basically yeah it's just like a solid color thingy that you can change colors you may be asking i can just make a solid layer and yeah you're right for example you can go to layer new and solid or you can just memorize control y but me personally i'm not memorizing that so when you click on this then you can change the color to whatever you want you know what i mean then you have to press okay then okay and you see there's a lot of clicking a lot of steps sometimes i'm not trying to do all that so the fastest way to do it for me is just to duplicate any clip and just add fill to it like it's that simple and then I could just make it black or whatever color I need it to be. You know what I mean? So adding these effects can really transform your edits and make them stand out. Honestly, mastering editing techniques to use effects takes time. And that's why today's sponsor, Skillshare, comes in. Skillshare is an amazing platform for creators with thousands of classes across all kinds of topics. Lately, I've been diving into film emulation and cinematics. I don't know. I'm just really into film. If I ever quit editing... I would definitely pursue film. 
Anyways, Skillshare has tons of classes on everything from motion graphics to film production. And what I really like is how it's designed for people at all levels. Whether you're just starting out and looking to take your skills further, there's something for everyone. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. The link will be on top of my description. And thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The next effect is uni.heatwave. You do need the universe plugin for this, but basically what this does is it has like a little heat wave type of thing you know what i mean so whenever there's flames or fire that's the same thing in the scene you kind of want this if you want it to be want it to look a little bit more realistic because that's what actually happens in real life when there's fire flames there's this little heat wave that's going on i don't really have a clip with flames but how you would use this is that you mask an area where the um flames are gonna be and then you add the heat wave effect maybe you want to add some feather just so it won't be too harsh of a line and there you go it's kind of subtle but it makes a huge difference and makes things look more realistic for um fire vfx the next effect is uni.photo to legacy once again you need the universe plugin for this one but as soon as you click on it you get this polaroid which obviously you can just go to google get a polaroid picture and just mask it out but it just saves you from all that hassle so basically right here you can you got some effects for example instant photo fade or vignette or blur amount these type of things you can change the offset the scale whatever and also you can just make it transparent by clicking this and as you can see it's transparent in the background it's a pretty simple effect that you may or may not use okay so next effect so the next effect is uni dot long shadow and basically it makes a long shadow as you can see you can make it you can make it black if you want you can change the length if you want it you know what i'm saying shorter or longer the expansion which i have no idea what it what it does but i think Oh, it just, it expands. Oh, that, yo, that looks clean. No, that's hard. Hold on. <laughs> Next effect is S underscore infinite zoom. And it does just that. So you can mess with the shrink per level or the zoom. Um, I kind of like the shrink per level a little bit more. Because it kind of gives it like a trippy look. You can go all the way down here. And then just, you know what I mean? And then you can keyframe it by selecting this. And then going over here and then just keyframing it like this you get this cool effect the next effect is called s underscore luna and basically luna stands for moon in english i don't know why it's over here that's weird but luna sp stands for moon in spanish um if you didn't know that right here you can adjust the size the lunar face which this moon model actually looks pretty good like you can't even lie like i did a similar moon for this for this shoe ad as you can see and it looks it, that was on blender that was like a high res model of a moon and this one looks pretty good to be just an after effects um effect you can change the rotation of this the contrast the bumpiness a glow like come on it, it literally has everything yo and for the last effect is s underscore digital damage and if we edit to our clip and if we play the clip as you can see it's like a glitch effect which actually looks nice for some reason or somehow there's actually like masking type of thing going on which makes it cool um you can also play with the intensity of stuff right here time intensity damage size you just mess with the settings however you want and you get like a really distorted image now that's gonna wrap it up let me know if some of these effects were new to you in the comments also if we can get to 5,000 likes i'll go ahead and drop part seven i actually noticed that it was, it's been like a year since i dropped part five which is kind of crazy a year passed so fast yeah that that's that's crazy but other than that thank you skillshare for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time Deuces.
this, I'm king of the hell I just be counting my stacks Don't really fuck with you, I come off like Bill Yeah, just like that um,